Hi everyone, welcome back to Gina C Creates. Today I'm going to show you how to make these Cricut Shaker gift tags for Easter. They are great for tying on Easter baskets, stuffed animals, um, gift bags, or you can just use them as a cute ornament around the house. And here are a few supplies you will need to get started. You're going to need some colored cardstock that are Easter colors. You're going to need some white cardstock that's 110 pounds. I'm using the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And of course, you'll need your shaker um, elements. I'm using some Palmer um, clay decorations and then some chunky glitter. You're going to need some acetate sheets. Next, we're going to download the SVG from my website. It is going to be a zip folder, so you're just going to right click on the folder and hit extract all and save it to the same location. And then now you'll have an open folder and inside you'll find the SVG file along with the PNG, EPS, and DFX. And you'll notice that the SVG might display as a Microsoft Edge HTML doc or any um, internet browser HTML doc. But it is still the SVG and it will upload to Cricut Design Space. So let's just open up the program and then find your SVG file or HTML doc. And you can see it uploads just like an SVG and we're just going to add it to our canvas. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure it is the correct size. It should be 13.3. And once we have it the correct size, we're just going to ungroup it. And now we'll be able to select each layer. And I save this file as a um, bundle. So you'll have two designs for the Easter eggs and then you'll have one bunny and one um, cross. And then I'm just showing you that these gray pieces are the acetate um, layers. And then all the white shapes are the outlines for the border of your shaker. And then the color pieces are the front and the back of the shaker. And so um, this would be one. And I'm just going to turn off the eyeball for that because I'm not going to make that one in this tutorial. And then I have my Easter Bunny. And you can see it has dash cut lines around the whole border. And I just did this to give it a little bit more character um, and texture. So if you don't want to use that, you can delete it and turn the eyeball off. Or you can even change it to write with a pen to do different colors. Um, it's up to you how you want your shaker to look. Or you could just leave it off and have a solid... Um, cardstock border but I like to give it a little texture character so I'm just gonna have it cut um, on top of my cardstock so I'm just gonna attach these dash cut lines to the layer underneath and they are grouped together so once you click on it and you can just hit attach and then for my white borders this is going to be my um, 110 pound cardstock you can use regular cardstock if you like it's just going to be a little bit more thinner and what we're going to do is we are going to right click on it and duplicate it three times so you will have a total of four layers because we are going to glue these on top of each other and give our shaker that depth to hold our glitter and confetti inside so I am going to um, duplicate all the white um, borders and make sure we have four layers of those. And um, you can also delete them if you want to use the foam tape method um, and just line your shaker with foam tape because that's pretty thick and you don't need the cardstock um, layers um, glued on top. So I'm just going to show you both ways on how to um, create your shaker. So I'm just trying to save paper and I'm moving some of my white shapes onto the same um, paper. And then, then we have our acetate layer. And then we just have our two different color um, yellows and our two different color blues and pinks. And then I'm just going to start cutting with the white cardstock first. 
and I cut that on um, Poster Board Plus because since your cardstock is a little thicker with the 110 pound, you want to make sure you're cutting it on the right setting. And then you carefully pull it off your um, mat. I like to use my little uh, scraper so my cardstock won't curl. You want to be very careful when pulling off these um, outlines because they could be very fragile and you want to make sure you keep them intact and flat. You can also try to use your Cricut metal spatula and try to get under these cardstock and make sure you lift them without um, ripping or curling them. So now that we could just set those aside, we're going to cut the acetate layer and you could cut this on cardstock setting and then you're just going to set these aside in a safe spot. Um, make sure you don't put them somewhere where you don't remember because they are easy to lose and hard to find. So just make sure you have those in a safe spot. And then next we're going to cut out our colored cardstock and I'm just cutting these on cardstock plus and I'm just carefully removing them without um, curling or ripping the paper. And then we're going to make sure our mat is clean by scraping off any um, excess cardstock that's left behind. And then we could continue to cut out all our different colored layers. And I like to use... Um, two different tones for my Easter shakers because I just think the back piece will give it um, stand out a little bit more versus if they were the same color. So now we have all our pieces cut out. We have our front and back pieces. We have the four um, layers of the white borders for each um, of the shakers. And then we have the clear acetate um, sheets and then we're going to need our craft glue. So I'm going to start with the Easter egg. And to make sure the glitter or confetti doesn't stick to the acetate, we're going to use some Windex. And we're just going to wipe down the front and back of it. Because sometimes these sheets have a lot of static on them. And it causes um, the glitter just to stick right to it without moving around. So a little Windex will um, help clear that up. And then we are going to glue each layer with our um, Barely Art craft glue. And I just started using this craft glue and I absolutely love it because it does dry clear and it doesn't cause your cardstock to have um, any wrinkles or bubbles um, in it. So it works pretty well for cardstock. And we're just going to wipe away any um, glue that comes through. And then we're just flipping over our white borders, applying our glue. And we're going to apply all of the four layers on top of each other. And this will give our shaker more depth to hold um, our um, Palmer clay. Because Palmer clay tends to be more thick than glitter so you just want to make sure um, whatever you choose to put inside your shaker your border is thick enough to hold it so now that we have all four layers on you're going to want to let that dry for about five minutes and then we can add our decorations inside so I chose this cute little um, Palmer's clay of Easter bunnies and confetti and little baby chicks so I'm just going to add that to the center of my Easter egg. And then for a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to add this Hillographic um, Starburst glitter. And I'll link these down in the video description for you as well as on my blog. So we're just going to clear off our acetate, make sure it doesn't have any um, debris on it. We're going to run some of our craft glue around the top white border, making sure there's no gaps. And then we're just going to lay that acetate right over. And the great thing about this is that white craft glue is going to dry clear. So you don't have to worry about it showing through. 
and then we even have our cover that is going to go on top so we're just going to apply some craft glue to the back of the easter egg <laughs> and then we're just going to press it down and center it and then we're just going to let that dry for a few minutes and we have a cute little easter egg um, shaker gift tag and then you just need some ribbon string or some twine and you could cut that down to size and slip it through the little hole and then you can hang them on some easter baskets or any kind of gifts you have so i'm going to show you next how to make the cross using the foam tape method and i'm just clearing my acetate off with um, my windex and then i am going to cut my foam tape strips smaller because i want to make sure that they don't show through for the top border of my um, cross so you're just going to want to cut your foam strips um, skinny and just double check that they will hide behind the border like so so instead of cutting out the cardstock of all these four layers and using the craft glue, we are going to use the foam tape instead. So most of these foam tapes um, come pretty thick and they're a good size to hold your confetti inside the shaker. So you just want to make sure it is thin enough so it's not going to show through on the front. So we can just take off the tape. And then we are going to just bring it to the very edge on the back um, piece of the tag and line it up around the edges. So we're just going to do this all the way around our cross. And it's a little bit more tedious, but the good thing about um, foam tape, it does curve. So when you use it on the egg or the Easter bunny, um, you can wrap it around. And if you have any small gaps like I do in this cross, um, you're going to want to make sure you have those covered if you're using like any fine glitter or um, really tiny um, decorations in your shaker. But mine are pretty chunky, pretty big, so I'm not too worried about that small little gap. So I also found these um, cute flowers and leaves, so I'm going to try that inside my cross with um, some starburst glitter as well. So just adding all that in and then just making sure it's all flat so we can lay the acetate layer over. And so when you're laying your acetate down, you wanna make sure you have it lined up pretty good because the foam tape will stick to it um, pretty quickly unlike the glue you have some wriggle room to move it around and lighten it up but with um, the foam tape you're going to want to make sure you um, line it up pretty good before you press down and then next we're just going to add our border to cover up all that foam tape and we're just using the precision glue and we're going to let that dry and then, of course, you can wipe away any glue that's showing with a paper towel or Q-tip. And then we're just going to let it dry for about five minutes before we um, add the string and hang it. And we have a cute little floral cross for Easter. And then here is my Easter bunny with the Easter confetti inside. And then you can take a piece of small ribbon and you can make a bow around your Easter Bunny. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make these cute Cricut Shaker gift tags for Easter. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.